hi and welcome to a lecture on therapeutic choices post myocardial infarction the term post myocardial infarction applies to patients who experienced either st segment elevated myocardial infarction or non st segment elevated myocardial infarction it is important to note here that while the early management differs the long term therapeutic goals are similar pharmacologic choices after myocardial infarction patients are at substantial risk for subsequent major adverse cardiovascular events such as non fatal myocardial infarction death or stroke the table here summarizes the individual and cumulative impact of four treatments for secondary prevention of cardiovascular events This includes the antiplatelet agent aspirin, beta blockers, statins and the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors. In patients who have received thrombolytic therapy for acute myocardial infarction, clopidogrel is the P2 vitreal inhibitor of choice as part of dual antiplatelet therapy along with aspirin. For most other infarct patients the first line P2 vitreal inhibitor is either prasugrel or ticagrelor. Prasugrel is a thionopyridin with an active metabolite that binds irreversibly to the P2 vitreal receptor. Prasugrel has a faster onset of action with increased potency in platelet inhibition compared to clopidogrel. In patients with myocardial infarction undergoing percutaneous coronary intervention, prasugrel reduced major adverse cardiovascular events compared to clopidogrel. Intravenous beta blockers should be used cautiously in the early acute phase as they may contribute to hemodynamic instability in patients suffering large infarcts. inhibition of the renin angiotensin aldosterone pathway the angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors should be considered in all post myocardial infarction patients especially in those with left ventricular dysfunction hypertension or diabetes mellitus